Hey, what's up, guys? This is Elo Speaks back again with another video. So, recently I've been watching uh, news sports media and they were discussing about the recent game that Jason Tatum had where he dropped 50 points in the playing tournament, which was an impressive game by him. That 50 points helped him win the game against the Washington Wizards to help propel them into the playoffs. So, what I wanted to talk about as regards to that was one of the questions that they were asking on the show was, is Jason Tatum an NBA superstar? And me, I have, you know, different criteria. I have an NBA player, NBA star, or NBA superstar. And when it comes to the NBA superstars, those are the elite of the elite to help propel their teams to potentially at least win MVP or win the title and win finals MVP. Now, as regards to that, they were going back and forth, Chris Broussard, Nick Wright, and the other uh, panelists, they were going back and forth on if they think Jason Tatum is an NBA superstar. And in my personal opinion, I don't think he's a NBA superstar. Not yet. Not yet. He's not a superstar. And I want to give the reasons why. So far, right now, Jason Tatum is doing good as a player, but I feel like there's room for improvement. I personally don't see him doing anything in Boston anytime soon in terms of a title chance. I feel like he had two chances to propel his team to the NBA Finals, but they came up short once against, uh, I think it was 2018, against the Cleveland Cavaliers led by LeBron James, and then last year against the Miami Heat when they lost against Bam um, Game 6, and they uh, went up against Bam and Jimmy Butler, and Jimmy uh, Butler and Bam just went off and propel their team to the finals as regards to that i don't really see much improvement for the celtics dude they're like another superstar away from going back to the finals to compete for another title but as far as that i don't see anything for them in terms of continuing with the title with that current team that they have right now now i understand that kind of injured or banged up um during the whole regular season but still I see Jason Tatum as just a star player. He's a great player, but he's just a star. Now, give it a little bit, a couple more years where he's a little more seasoned, and he will be a bona fide superstar in my personal opinion. But as of right now, he's not a superstar. He's not in contention for an MVP, and he's not leading his team to a title or then potentially being a finals MVP. And that's my personal opinion of it. When it comes to that, I say it again, for you to be a bona fide NBA superstar, you have to be a, a franchise changer. I'm talking about when you go to a team, you could be, you're like you're with you going to that team could potentially either put that team in title contention or take them over the top to win the championship. Just like how James Harden went to the Nets and it kind of helped their chances with them going to the finals, even though they had Kyrie and KD on the team. Now What's my what the few players that I have as bona fide NBA superstars is LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Kawhi Leonard, and I also have Giannis Antetokounmpo and a few others, but they can't um, they don't come to mind right now. But those are the, like guys off the top of my head that are like bona fide NBA superstars. Either they have won a finals MVP or they've won an MVP in a regular season in their own right. Now, you could argue with Kawhi, but Kawhi has won finals MVP in two different teams. He never uh, was in the MVP running, but I feel like he he does. The reason he's really not in the MVP running like that is because he don't really take the, M the regular season that serious. He always plays his best in the playoffs and to try to contend for a title. So it's always going to look that way that he's not contending for MVP or having won one. Kevin Durant, that's, you know, that's obvious. LeBron James is obvious. And uh, so forth and so forth. With Giannis Antetokounmpo winning back-to-back -back MVPs, Defensive Player of the Year. And, you know, he made it to the Eastern Conference Championship. He's a superstar, but if he wants to really be a bona fide superstar, he has to take his team to the finals and possibly win it and be the finals MVP. But with his game being so one-dimensional and there's no diversity to it, it makes it hard for him to leap and like cross over into that threshold to be like a champion because teams are going to hone in on his weaknesses in terms of playoffs. And that's what they did last year against the Miami Heat. But 
you know, that's what I think about the situation. Is J- Jason Tatum a superstar? Again, I say no, he's not a superstar. Superstar is for the top echelon type players that are that could push their team over the top or put their teams in title contention. When it comes to players like Jason Tatum, Jimmy Butler, Kyrie Irving's, uh, Devin Booker, those guys are stars. They're not superstars. Uh, you could even say Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is not a superstar to me. He's a star player. Uh, there's a lot of people that will probably like disagree with that, but it's, it is what it is. He's a star player. And same thing with Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving is a great, great talent. One of the best ball handlers I've ever seen in my lifetime. I argue, you could argue, say he has better handles than Curry or Allen Iverson. But he's a star. He can't lead a team to a championship, and he definitely not never in the running to win MVP. So that's why I say he's a star player. There's a lot of stars in the NBA, but there's a few superstars in the NBA. When you're a superstar in the NBA, that means you're like a bona fide talent where a team could build around you for you for you to contend for an NBA championship. Same thing like Michael Jordan. He was a superstar. They built around him to win a championship. Same way they built around Kobe to build a cha- to win a championship. Same way they built around Shaquille O'Neal, both of our superstars to win a championship, and so far and so forth. Now, you know, there's gonna be star players on teams that you know that's gonna help the superstar win. When it comes to a superstar, they're gonna have a star player or two star players on their team to help them win a championship. But it's never gonna be a star player to win a championship like Bradley Bill. He's a star player, but he's not a superstar player. And to be honest, he's what I, he's a low tier superstar. He's a type of player where he has to be the third option on a team to win a championship. He can't be the number one. If he's the number one, then you're not winning a championship with him. Same thing with Russell Westbrook. Now, Russell Westbrook is a superstar, but he's not a championship winning superstar. He has an MVP. He's been dropping massive triple doubles, but you're never going to win with him as a uh, as your uh, point guard because he makes bad decisions in clutch. He stat pass too much. He ball hawks too much. He has a low basketball IQ and he makes terrible decisions in the clutch. That's probably for a reason why Kevin Durant left, but that's a whole nother uh, video. But he's a superstar nonetheless because of his great talent and athleticism. Even though he can't win a championship with him, he was able to win MVP. So I give him that respect as an NBA superstar. Great talent. But because we've never seen something like him before a specimen that way that could monopolize the ball with getting 10 rebounds 10 assists and average over 10 points so i give russell Westbrook that when it comes to other like athletes and players majority of them are just uh, stars now could they possibly grow into being a superstar possibly but in terms of the nba throughout history you can always see that there was always a few superstars in the NBA and then it was just majority majority stars in the league so that's always how it's been and that's always how it will be in terms of that type of nature um those type of superstar athletes like the LeBrons the Giannis Antetokounmpo the Kawhi Leonard's the Kevin Durant those are like franchise game changers like once they come to your team they're gonna change your whole franchise around and make you contend for title for the next 10 plus years if they're happy and you surround them with the necessary talents for them to win a championship so those are my thoughts and opinions on the matter let me know yours down in the comment section down below do you think jason tim is a superstar if not let me know in the comments if he is also let me know this is Ido out.